Hey, welcome back everyone to Plevo's Webisode 2. My name is Kang Pham and I am back as your host and moderator for our second installment in the Plevo Webisode series. Today, we've got an excellent show in store for you today. We are going to show you how to simplify communications and how to get your flow on. Now, before I continue with the webisode, I would like to introduce our guest for today. He is a solutions architect here at Plevo. Please welcome Sean Miller. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. It's really exciting to be here today. Well, Sean, it's great to have you here. Sean, tell us a little bit about your background and the type of apps that you've worked on or developed. Sure. So as a solutions architect here at Plevo, most of my job consists of working with our customers to design and implement solutions built on top of our platform. So I'm very familiar with our APIs and I've worked extensively with them building a number of custom telephony apps. Awesome. That's a great transition because in today's show, we are going to introduce Flow. Sean, tell everyone out there exactly what Flow is. Sure. Flow stands for Plevo High Level Objects. And so if you're on this call and you're technical, you might know what high level objects means. But for everyone else, the simplest way to think about this is it's basically like working with Lego blocks. But before we get into how Flow actually works, I think it's important for us to back up and discuss the why. Why did we actually decide to make this thing? So communications problems are really hard. And the current solutions available today basically want you to go ask somebody else to solve this problem for you, right? Go ask your already overworked developer. But the problem is that 100% of people have this issue and only about 1% of them can solve it with what's available today. And that doesn't make much sense to us. So let me lead with an analogy here. And Kang, you can let me know if this makes sense. So imagine I came to you and I was like, Kang, there's this new technology called email and it's totally going to change the world and how people communicate. But the one catch is that in order to use it, you have to go call your local typist to actually type up the email for you, right? As if sending an email is actually about typing. It doesn't make any sense. And we think the same problem applies to communications today. You shouldn't need a developer to solve this problem for you because like I said, everyone already has this problem. So at Plevo, we think that building these communications apps should be really simple for everyone like sales executives, product managers, the developers, marketing executives, and everyone else in between. Now, Sean, you've built a million of these apps. Without using Flow, how would someone go about building an app? Sure. So here's how this might look today. You're going to come up with your use case. You'll hit the whiteboard. Then you'll create a spec doc. You'll pass it off to your developer. They're going to go read a ton of documentation. They'll come back and tell you what they can and can't do. They'll have a back and forth over this. And then days, weeks, maybe even months later, they'll actually hit the keyboard and try to actually build the thing. Wow. This sounds like a huge undertaking. Is that a fair statement? Absolutely. Until now. So here's the world with flow. Regardless of if you're technical or not, everyone on this call can look at this diagram and understand exactly what's going on. You start where it says start. You can have an incoming phone call or an incoming text message that hits an IVR menu that has two options. One of them forwards a call and one of them records some audio. So what Flow does is it allows you to have no coding, no documentation. It takes less time to develop and deploy. And so it makes the whole process wildly more efficient. Here's the world without Flow, which is what most people are doing today. Can take a look at this. Does, does that look like a good time to you? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's not. And as someone who's done it a bunch of times, I can tell you it's not fun. There's a ton of coding involved. You have to read a bunch of documentation. It takes a long time to actually build it. And it's super prone to error. So if I make one tiny mistake in there, my whole application is broken. And now I have to spend time going in and actually debugging it. So, you know, imagine you and I are going to both build an application. You're going to do it the old way. And I'm going to do it with flow. Who do you think is going to finish first? Sean, it's not fair. If you're using flow, you're going to win. Every time I'm going to win if I'm using flow. Totally true. So here's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you guys flow. I'm going to train you up on how to use it. And then in under five minutes, we're going to build a real world application and demo it for you guys so you can see just how easy it is. Let's get started. Awesome. So here's flow. I'm going to give you guys a quick lay of the land. Over on the left side of the screen here, you're going to see what we call nodes. These are all of the components available to you as the creator of your flow. And over on the right side of the screen is what we call the canvas. This is where you're going to drag those components and hook them up 
to actually build this application. So what we're gonna be building today is a real world IVR menu. So let's imagine you're a small startup and you have people calling into your phone number, but you haven't hired someone to actually work the front desk yet. So what are you gonna do? Well, in this case, we're gonna build a simple IVR menu to act as an auto attendant, and it's gonna forward calls to the appropriate person um, whoever is calling in wants to reach. So the first thing we're gonna do here is give this flow a name. I'm gonna be super original and call this Webisode 2. And click Save. Now we're ready to start building. So what we're gonna do here is drag over this IVR menu and wire it up to an incoming phone call. And once we do that, you're gonna see that it gives us some configuration options here. And so I'm gonna just give it two options, one and two. What? Okay, one and two. And I'm gonna scroll down here and it's gonna give me a place to give this menu some instructions. So I'm just gonna say, press one to reach Kang. Press two to reach Sean. When I click validate and save, you're gonna notice something really cool which is that this IVR menu now has two options. And if you're a developer listening into this call, that validate button is gonna be very intriguing to you. Once I click that, if there's no errors, you know that this flow just works and there's no debugging necessary. So that's pretty powerful. So option one, that's gonna call Kang. I'm gonna grab this call forward option right here, hook it up to option one, and again, do some simple configurations. Now, when Kang is receiving this phone call, he's gonna wanna know who's actually calling into him, right? So Flow has access to that information. If I do two double brackets here, you'll see a small drop-down menu with some options. Start call from is actually gonna give me the phone number of the person calling in, and that's what Kang's gonna see when his phone rings. And the two number is, of course, gonna be Kang's phone number. Luckily, I know that off the top of my head, so that's one four zero eight two four two. 9901. Again, validate and save. Option one is now complete. We're going to do the exact same thing if he wants to reach me. So hook it up to option two. Double brackets. We're going to get that incoming caller's phone number and we're going to hook it up to my number here. I'm from Vermont, so that's going to be 1 802 777 1305. You guessed it. Validate and save. That was an IVR menu in under five minutes and it's almost ready to test. The last thing we need to do is hook this up to a phone number, which is what people are gonna call in order to get to this menu. So I'm gonna go over to phone number here and I've got a list of phone numbers in my account. This one looks like it's not hooked up to any application, so we'll go ahead and use this. I'm gonna select the Webisode 2 flow that we just created and now that number is wired up. If I go back into our flow here, this thing should just work. Again, an IVR menu in under five minutes. So we're actually gonna call Kang right now using this IVR menu. So his phone is actually hooked up to the computer here and that's what you're looking at here. I'm gonna call the number that we just wired up to this flow and you guys are gonna see this ring. Let's do it. Press one to reach Kong, press two to reach Sean. Okay, I'm gonna press option one and it's gonna start ringing Kang. All right, call from Sean Miller at Plevo. We're not gonna answer this call, so I'm just gonna hang up. But you guys just saw how we built this IVR menu in less than five minutes and tested it live in front of all of you. It just works, it's that simple. All right, Sean, thanks for that great demo. Let's do a quick recap. Flow allows you to code less, to read less, and to ship more. To learn more, go to our URL here where you can sign up for a free account and you'll get access to a number, test credits, and to Flow. And stay tuned for the next webisode. Thank you all for tuning in.